Immunity is a network of cells, tissues, and organs found throughout the body that fights against infectious diseases and cancers. It is divided into innate immunity and adaptive immunity. Innate immunity. Innate means it is present from birth, which means that our body don't need to be trained to fight infection. It is quick in response and non-specific which means that it will stop any type of microbe. The components involved in the innate immunity are first, phagocytic cells, which consist mainly of neutrophils and macrophages. It will neutralize microbes with special chemicals before swallowing them. Second, natural killer cells. It will detect certain virally infected cells and lyse them. Third, interferons. It will inhibit replication of many viruses. Adaptive immunity takes place when any immunity fails to overcome the microbe or when the microbe have developed ways to avoid detection. For example, viruses are very difficult to detect because it is smaller and can hide and multiply within the body cells. Unlike the innate immune system, it is slow in action, as in it's time to adapt or learn to recognize the antigen. Antigen is the marker molecules on the surface of the cells. Once it has learned, it is able to remember the particular germs that infected the body. The response is rapid, accurate, and effective. Adaptive immunity involves three events. First, recognition. Each bacteria, virus, foreign body has antigen, which make it unique. We call it as non-self, which our body don't recognize it. The cells in our body also has specific antigen. We call it as self, which our body recognize it. Lymphocytes can distinguish between self and non-self antigen. It will attack only on non-self antigen. Second, cell division. When a non-self antigen is detected, it will stimulate mitotic activity in B and T lymphocyte. Third, differentiation. The daughter cells of B and T lymphocyte will differentiate into plasma cell, memory cell, and effector cells. Example of effector cell is T helper cell. Assalamualaikum and hello. Now I will share about the components of the immune system. The cells of the innate and adaptive immune systems originate in bone marrow where hematopoietic stem cells give rise into myeloid cells and lymphoid cells. Myeloid cells give rise to red blood cells, platelet, and the cells of the innate immune systems which are neutrophil, basophil, eosinophil, and monocyte, which can turn into dendritic cells and macrophage. Lymphoid cells give rise to cells essential to adaptive immunity, which are T lymphocytes, B lymphocytes, and natural killer cells. B lymphocyte will turn into plasma cell and will produce antibodies. These are the adaptive immune system. Cells, while these are the components of the innate immune system. So now we will go to the function of the innate immune system first. So first we go to the neutrophil. Neutrophil circulate in blood. At the site of inflammation, neutrophil kills pathogens by phagocytosis. Eosinophils participate in immune reactions to parasites and they are also mediators of allergic reactions and in asthma. When activated, they release cytoplasmic granules containing mediators of inflammation. 
Basophils and their tissue counterparts, mast cells also, participate in allergic reactions and in defense against parasitic infections. They release histamine and other mediators. Monocytes and macrophages are phagocytic cells that can engulf and enzymatically break down microorganisms and foreign materials. Dendritic cells serve as a sentinel function by engulfing cells and material, breaking it down and, and then display components on their cell surface. As a result, they are often referred to as APC or antigen-presenting cells. NK cells function in lysis of some virally infected cells. They are lymphocytes that attack cells that has defective markers of cell. Helper T cells or TH cells coordinate immune responses by communicating with other cells. Helper T lymphocytes play a key role in orchestrating the adaptive immune response to a foreign agent. So there are three cells, two, only two cells which is in adaptive immune system, which is T cells and B lymphocytes. There are two T cells or T lymphocytes, which are T helper cells and cytotoxic T cells. Cytotoxic T cells look for antigen fragments bound to MHC molecules, and if the MHC molecule is displaying fragments that match the receptors for a given cytotoxic T cell, the T cell will attack that cell. Okay, the next one is B lymphocytes. Uh, when activated, B lymphocytes transform into plasma cells which synthesize antibodies specific for the antigen identified on the foreign agent. So, this is only the story about, uh, about the components of the immune system. Thank you. Now, I will talk about active and passive immunity. The resistance developed by man during his life is known as acquired immunity or adaptive immunity. This adaptive immunity is of two types, namely active and passive. Both active and passive immunity may be natural or artificial. This is naturally acquired and this is artificially acquired. For naturally acquired immunity, there are passive and active immunity. And for artificially acquired, there are also active and passive immunity. And passive. passive immunity is when another organism has made antibodies that have been passed on through you via an injection or breast milk. There are two different types of passive immunity which is naturally acquired and artificially acquired. Okay. Naturally acquired passive immunity is when the baby receives the antibody and other defensive cells through the mother's breast in the first three days of breastfeeding after birth. There is a thick yellowish substance that comes out of the breast that is rich in nutrients and antibodies and helps start the immune system to fight against foreign antigens that enter the body. After the substance, all the breast milk is still full of antibodies that can assist in build up of the immune system. Artificially acquired passive immunity is when antibodies are injected from an immune serum into the recipient so that they can fight disease. This immune serum can help the person to fight the disease.
Active immunity is when the production of antibodies is by the body itself and does not have any assistance from other bodies or artificially by serum. The production has occurred within the own body from destroying a pathogen. Active immunity has two different types, which are naturally acquired and artificially acquired. Naturally acquired active immunity is when antigens have entered the body naturally and it has met its own antibodies to fight the pathogen and destroy it. For example, is the mums which, uh, which attack the body and the uh, cell of the immune system can remember the virus which the mums give to the body. So they will fight against the disease and virus which the mums brought into the body. Artificially acquired active immunity is when we have been vaccinated. Vaccination is when the body is injected The body is injected with a live or attenuated pathogen so that the body is able to make its own antibodies and memory cells to fight against the pathogens. The antibodies will then remain in the body. Okay, that's all for active and passive immunity. Thank you. Alright, phase of immune system. Okay, we have three phases. Okay, the first one is cognitive phase. Okay, cognitive phase is when about antigen is recognized. Okay, the T lymphocyte and B lymphocyte activated and proliferates. Okay, the second phase is activation phase. At this phase, more and more of the same clone of T and B cell is produced. Cells undergo various change, no differentiation. To enable a response, for example, various development steps occur in T cell, leading to a whole new cell, plasma cell, which is synthesized and secret large amount of antibody molecules. Okay, the next one is effector phase, which is the last stage. Antibodies helps to eliminate the antigen. This step designed to regulate the response and prevent it from continuing after the antigen or microbe is neutralized or eliminated. Therefore, effective phase is really important due to autoimmune disease.